In today's video, I was sent a mystery box from two of my most dedicated viewers. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening. In this one, we have a mystery box that this doesn't actually matter. I don't think it says Yu-Gi-Oh! Common Bulk, Fallen, and something. I don't know what that is, but I don't think that's super relevant. Two of my most dedicated viewers, Goldie and Europa. They're both mods on YouTube and Twitch. They come out to the Twitch streams, which have 30 viewers most of the time. So they are there basically every time. They've been dedicated followers for a long time. They told me, hey, we sent you something. And I've had this for a little bit because, you know, the move and everything. And they were like, hey, have you opened it? And I was like, I got you. I, I got you. So I pulled it out from all my other boxes and I have no idea what's in here. I've opened it up real quick just to see if I think this is it. They have like real names on there versus, you know, the names on Twitch and stuff like that. So I'm 99% sure this is from them. Let's see. If it's not, then you might, might not even see these intro. So let's see what's inside. I have no idea. I think there is a giveaway though. So let's uh, open this thing up and see. So right off the bat, we have it open first. So that should make it easy. So I'm just going to move this over. Can I? This flap is going to get in the way. All right. I will move this over. There's a giveaway that I saw in there as well. So we have open first. Okay. That I can do. I can I can follow instructions. Open first. All right, here we go. Hello, Ruxin. When you hold this letter in your hands, the package I promise you has finally arrived. In this package, I send you German candy. Taste testing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Candy. Okay. A gift from Jose, a.k.a. Unholy Fat Man. I forgot Unholy Holy Fat Man also sent something, so that's three of my most dedicated viewers. I think Unholy Fat Man has the longest consecutive Twitch sub to me. It's like 30-something months, which is insane, because I didn't even stream for like a year, so shout out to him. Which you are allowed to open on video. A giveaway in a deck box labeled Save the Moths. Okay, I'm excited to see that one. Only continue reading this letter once you find three empty sleeves in the deck box. Okay, we gotta find three empty sleeves in the deck box. Alright, there is a giveaway in here. Let me, uh, I, I forgot to do this to but now you're seeing it early because we put it back the magic of editing is now at the beginning to enter this giveaway to win whatever these are inside all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you think of the mystery box from viewers of the channel and do you want to see stuff like this in the future all right let's see what you guys can win in here we have a little blue eyes tyrant dragon we've got blue eyes white dragon we've got blue eyes white dragon korean from lob we have the exodia korean and a gaia the dragon champion so that's a pretty nice giveaway i'm not gonna lie that's really good cards out of lob we got a blue eyes we got blue eyes tyrant dragon so very nice stuff okay so part one is taste testing which would be taste testing a gummy they are from germany two of them goldie and europa unholy fat man is not he is from the united states but i guess these are they're originally from germany right so it's like the, the og the originals i'm probably gonna say something that's completely wrong but i think that's right chelsea's not here so no taste testing for now but maybe on a twitch stream we'll whip those out monday wednesday friday we stream on twitch uh mostly pokemon stuff for the poker Rux channel so if you want to come hang out there super fun shout out to poker Rux. all right let's go next step is from jose aka unholy fat man let's pull out what he has here it is an ultimate guard deck box which is taped in a very unusual way so i'm not exactly sure maybe this has packs in it i guess i think that's what that means because he said something about opening it this is kind of like an old school like uh fan mail kind of video that we used to do we haven't done many of those in a long time because not as much fan mail because i haven't really mentioned it or anything and then also yeah we just stopped kind of doing those videos all right let's see what we have so from jose let's see what we got okay i'm reading this wrong it's not from jose i get four jose so we're opening this for so i guess they got it sent it to me to open and then we're gonna send it to jose i figured it out i read it correctly okay so we have uh amazing memories we got rarity collection we got duelist nexus we got age of overlord wow why is that yellow that looks a lot more yellow i guess that's the european version oh, oh Ger german version okay there we go and then we have some pretty cool cards it looks like they have elemental hero neos very nice we've got some uh german versions of ray got a rose we got sage of strength battles of legend monsters revenge is this a what are these battles of legend monsters revenge i don't even remember these sage cards i'm not gonna lie we opened so much of that i guess i wasn't paying too much attention this is like part of a deck oh wait got engage in here okay is this a sky striker deck maybe it is a, mostly a sky striker deck okay that's pretty cool actually i mean that's not part of the deck, that's for sure. But I mean, I should have known that from there, but I figured it was just random cards. Okay, I figured it out, okay? All right, four packs. These are for Jose. I think the order we need to go in is definitely Duelist Nexus first because it's the least exciting. This is a German pack, I believe, based on the first edition. Let's see, one, two, three. Is it still four from the back in German? I don't know, I'm not gonna try. Okay, maybe I should try to read these. Okay, what's a German? I don't even know a German accent. We have the Da 
Das Fort Epos von Charles. Okay, we have Altergeist, Wedenelberg. We have Pearly Tillerly. <laughs> Pearly Tillerly. We have Valence Well, Meister Phase. And Gaia Low, De Craft Der Son. We have Shervara, Corn Cornfield. <laughs> Kotal, okay, we have the Grinsaurus, and, uh, oh, we've got the Rillister Traumarillentant von Nemleria. That is not hard to read at all. I totally nailed it. I already can't read new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're way too long. Putting it in the German language is totally unfair. I like it. It's just too much. All right, this looks like an English pack. First edition. Maze of Memories. Let's see. We have uh, Mech Knight Blue Sky. I'm excited to read these. Blackwing Kalut. I think they put those at the, and for European, I think they put the foil at the back. So we don't have to do any pack trick. Imperial Iron Wall, we have double attack, wind and thunder. Wind and thunder, angel of blue tear. Pull a good card right here. No, that is a gate guardian. Cool card though, cool card. Gate guardian combined, I'll take it. You know what I'll do? I'll talk in the uh, Paradox Brothers accent the rest of the way. That's, that, that'll consider, we'll consider that a German accent, though it is not. Vom Grab Gruffen. Majabusche des Intels. Win de wind de civil. Oh, we got a collector rare! The Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode. I'm gonna say it like that. Dimension Bear, two collector rares. Okay. All right, a gift to Jose. Already pulling some fire right now. We've got the uh, Sphere Mode. Very cool. And then we've got Dimensional Barrier. Or it's Dimension Barrier? Dimension Barrier. Dimension Barrier. All right, last pack. Age of Overlord. This is another German pack. Let's see if we can get something good here. Uh, I'm. It's, this is hard, guys. This is hard on me, okay? This is just... This is cruel. I know you guys are going to be cracking up me trying to read these. Spiel der Testina. Tau. Sangermeister. Verflusch. Bratpump. We have Pendle Evolution. Tere. Sharv Sonarga. Shino Baroness. Uh, I feel like I'm going to say a, a cuss word or something. I keep saying that. We have Stern. And oh my good. Somebody tell me how to say that. I mean, come on. There's, I have no chance. This is bullying right now. All right, we are officially on to the final step, which is save the moths, which is right here. The challenge, save the moths. Okay, there's some sort of challenge going on. All right, let's slice this thing open. It's taped up, you know, safekeeping and everything. Made it through customs. They didn't want to, you know, open the deck box or anything. All right, so we pull these out. They said when we find the empty sleeves, that's when we go back. So here's what we do. We have... Three empty sleeves. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing some good stuff back there. Three empty sleeves right here. Here is where we continue to read. So congratulations, you found my challenge. I challenge you to save your beloved Pequeno Moths. Your challenge is to open packs. But what for, you might ask? Here's the deal. To become perfectly ultimate great moth, this says giant moth, but I'm assuming maybe that's a translation. It's giant moth over there. I'm not really sure. Or insect queen. Maybe you just typed it wrong. I don't even know. The petite moths need the cocoon of ultra evolution, and as you see, they are missing. To save your beloved moths, head to the internet and look for the three cheapest near mint verified copies of the cocoon. Once you find them, search for the envelope save the moths pack challenge. Okay, wait a second. Look for the three cheapest near mint verified copies of the cocoon. All right, okay, all right. I'll do it. Okay, so what I was told to do was head to the internet and look for the three cheapest near mint verified copies of the Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. So there's three options here. We have the Cocoon of Ultra Evolution Legendary Duel Season 1. That's $1.25. We have Speed Duel, which is $1.75. That's a skill card, so I don't think they're talking about that. Then there's the Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium, which is two bucks. So I think it, this is the cheapest one. Oh, wow. These are, what in the world happened? Why are they spiked? What happened? Okay, so this lowest is $2.18. Let me go back to the other one. All right, cheapest here is more than that. Okay, so it is more than that. So it is the Legendary Duelist Season 1 that is the cheapest. Three lowest verified copies. Once you find them, search for the envelope, save the Moths Pack Challenge. Okay, save the Moths Pack Challenge. Okay, is this it? Oh, no. Do we have some packs in here? Uh-oh. Pack challenge. I like it. I like it. Okay, is there going to be some uh, Legendary Duel Season 1 in here or what? Or maybe... Oh, wait, what? Save the Moss Pack Challenge. Wait, these don't... 
These aren't the packs I was expecting. Wait a second. In the envelope, there are German packs that's sorted for you. You need to meet the value of three cocoons to be able to afford them and save the moss. Okay, so we just have to equal the value. We don't actually have to pull them. Because this is intended to be a Christmas present too. Yeah, we were a little late. Sorry, guys. I promised to you a joker. Your joker can be one of two options. Another set of packs. Count the number of German packs you were sent. Or one token card that you shall give away with the token card equaling the missing value. This doesn't mean you can't open more packs, but if you only draw the joker, the value will count to the total. Choose wisely to save the beloved moths. Daniel, aka Europa. Okay, I'm a little confused by this Joker thing. Oh, by the way, this was also in here. This, I think, was another part of the candy snacking episode, which we will have to save for another time because Chelsea's not here. But also, that's why they told me to open it because, like, our candy might go bad. You might want to go open that. So, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the Joker here. I've been, I've been sitting. Okay, does Joker mean I have to name a card and if we pull it, I have to do something? Or does that mean, based on number two, it seems like if we don't get enough money we give away something equaling the value of what we didn't get and then with the germ i don't get number one count the german packs you were sent see what confuses me and it says uh but only if you draw the joker the value will count to the total okay so i'm not exactly sure what they mean by this let me know in the comments your interpretation what we're gonna do is we're gonna open these they are german but we're gonna use english prices to see we need six dollars and 54 cents to be able to afford and complete the Pequeno Moth deck, which we have to go through after we're done. If we don't get there, we'll give away all the cards that we pull in these packs right here, including with the giveaway. Also, I do want to go through the deck first. So we have, first of all, German Moth. So there's a lot of these. We got uh, we got three of those. We got the Perfectly Ultimate. We got Parasite. We got Insect Queen. Oh, yeah, this is a great deck. We got the Dragon Bite. The, oh, man, this is like... This is just like our deck when we were playing, uh, we were trying to summon the Pequeno Moth. It's very similar, actually. A lot of German cards, so I need to learn these, uh, you know, so I can actually play them. Giant Ballpark. It's so much like our Master Duel deck that we played for a while. It was super fun. We need to revisit that deck. It was super cool. Okay, uh, and it also was in our, um, our April Fool's you know, video last year, which was pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I feel like I, I messed something up and I, I should be doing something else, but... So what we're gonna do, $6.54. That's what the cost of three of the cocoons is. So we gotta try and pull better than that. Here we go, we got the Stark. Oh, I should've done a, what if we get a quarter century? I think we automatically hit it if we do that because we only need six bucks. So we we, don't, we just need one good card, basically. We have the, oh, there's a dinosaur to go with our, our Pequeno Moth. We have the uh, Gurindos, that is the jar. And, oh, whoa, let's go. Did we just hit it on the first pack? We're close, you'll see it on the screen. That is gonna be nice. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not doing German values just because it's gonna be way harder to find. English will, it, it'll be close enough. So that's a nice pull. I think we may have already hit it out of Duelist Nexus of all things. Okay, and then we have Rarity Collection. That's gonna make it a lot easier with Rarity Collection stuff. All right, we have the, uh, this has a, been a very fun video, very different video, you know, trying to pull something, complete the legendary Pequeno Moth deck. Very awesome that they put that together. The Magnum Dur Abloser. I guess they really liked when we did the, uh, the Pequeno deck, I should say. Maybe we should bring that back to Twitch at some point. It's been like a year since we did that. It's pretty insane. Rarity's up next. Let's see. We have the Esbarrier. -S -Barrier. We have the Written. We have, oh! Secret Rare Baron. I don't I think that might be a dollar. Uh, oh, Nibiru Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Not, not ultra, ultra Rare. Not like a, oh, wow. The texture on the European slash German ones, way better than what we got. That's for sure. Okay, I feel like those had to be worth something, right? I mean, th some of those cards had to be decent. So that, that's pretty good. Another Rarity Collect. No, let's save this Rarity Collection just in case. We need something at the end. 25th Anniversary Dueling Heroes Pack. So gold. Golden packaging. All right, we have Libromancer. Oh, look, English. I can read this. Grand House Dragon. We have Mary Melfi's. Scareclaw. We have Bread of Plant Biblisp. Smoke Mosquito. We have the Patsuel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Runic Destruction. We have Rite of Aramisir. Okay. In the Mega Ten uh, Prismatic Secret version. And Therion Regula Regulus. I cannot speak. I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we've pulled some good cards. Let's just pull an SP Little Knight German. How about that? We'll, we'll pull an SP Little Knight. We can afford a mini mini. I thought I saw something for a second. For a second, I thought I saw we got a quarter century. I was like, no way. Okay. It's just these cards are really shiny from Europe. Well, well that's I was like, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. UFO light. Uh, we have Testina. We have another card. We have the X Raptor. We didn't get a quarter century. If we had, I, I would have lost it. That would have been pretty sweet. Last pack magic. Will we be able to afford 
the cocoons. I don't know if we will. It's pretty close right now, not gonna lie. I think we might be there. It depends on how much that first card was worth. All right, come on, Rarity. I don't think I need to do a pack trick here. We have Pot of Desires, nice card. We have the Dimension uh, Shifter. There we go. Okay, uh, Danger Jackal. Oh man, hiccups are hitting me. It means that's a good sign. I think that's a good sign. That that it is right. That's something that like oh Ash Blossom. That's a couple bucks. That's that's worth like one cocoon right there. That's pretty good. And Vision Hero Ferris. Vision Hero Ferris is just named. Oh wait, no, he's not. Okay, Visions held. Okay, I thought it just said Vision Hero Ferris. I was like, it's still in English. That's kind of weird. Okay, here's what we did. Did we get enough for the cocoon? I'm hoping so. So I don't have to give you those cards and I can get the cocoon. All right, we did, it looks like, pull enough money to get these. So I am going to have to get one from Crazy Deals, one from Birdman TCG, and one from Ghost Games because they all have one. So nobody had three. So it did cost a little bit more than we were expecting, but I'm pretty sure I made a couple bucks more than we thought we needed. So works out pretty good. I'm going to order all three of these. And we're going to complete that Pequeno Moth deck in the future. I mean, you probably won't see that because it's going to take a while to get here and everything, but... I want to show this part of me actually getting the the, uh, the cards because I want to complete the Pecanium Moth deck. Greatest deck ever made. If you have not already seen it in action, make sure you go check out my April Fool's video from last year. Shout out to Goldie and Europa for sending me this package and then also Unholy Fat Man for being associated as well. Thank you guys for watching it. Make sure you guys thank them in the comments for this awesome video. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.